remember Moses in Egypt, and he had that rod that made into a serpent. And Pharaoh's magicians did the same thing, and the serpent of God oh, swallowed up the serpent of the Pharaoh. Well, the enemy is spoken of as a serpent, okay? He schemes like a serpent, and yet, here it says, be wise as serpents. What that's telling you is one of the ways the enemy's going to set, set traps for you. He wants to trigger you. He wants to, make, make, he wants to panic you. He wants you to do, well, one of the, he wants to tempt you. One of the ways you overcome the enemy is serpent against serpent. Use wisdom. Use the wisdom of God when you're dealing with the traps of the enemy. Be wise. Listen, the enemy, be wise about it. Apply wisdom. I know believers who were in the midst of doing Bible studies, and, and they, they, they let the hedge, they, they let it down. They, let, they, they, they were doing it, and they let everybody go, but one woman stayed, and they ended up falling into sin. They, they, had a, they, had a, they, were, they had the, the dove part, but they didn't have the, the wisdom serpent part. The enemy's always kind of, you know, I was once when I was single, a married woman once asked me to work on a song with her. I said, which song? He said, the song of Solomon. I said, no, thank you. You, you do it with your husband. I've had times, I'm not going to go into the story, because you've heard, I talked about, when, when I talked about Joseph, where once I was called over a house at a suicide call, and I went, it was this woman, and it wasn't a suicide call. And I won't go into what happened, but I mean, I'll, it's, I'll tell you another, another message. But, but, but then, you know, then when she said again, I said, it's okay. You, 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 I'm going to commit suicide again. It's okay. Do what you have to do. No, I, I, I said, get someone else. I can't come over. Part of wisdom is putting up hedges. Parting of it, hedges go a long way in protecting your life. If, you're in a, if there is a circumstance that would cause you any temptation, Put up a hedge. Don't even go to the circumstance. Forget about trying to fight it in the circumstance. Don't even go there. Put up a hedge. For instance, for instance, it may be, I can't be alone with someone. I can't be alone with someone of the opposite sex. I get a minister, that's a ministerial one. I, or, or if you've dealt with alcoholism, don't even go near a bar. Put up a hedge. Know your weakness. Samson had strength, but he didn't know his weakness. He didn't guard. Protect yourself. If you know you've got a problem with losing your temper, hedge against what's going to lead up to it. If you're more vulnerable when you're tired, hedge up to it before you're going to get into it. Hedge up before you go. Build hedges to protect yourself. Whatever you can. I cannot do this ever. I cannot do this. I cannot allow this. I cannot be with that person. I cannot be in that situation. It says he who breaks a hedge will be bitten by a serpent. Not only build your hedges, keep them. And listen, you might say, well, most of the time, it doesn't matter. If nine out of ten times you'd be okay, even without the hedge, it doesn't matter. The one time is what's going to kill you. So keep up the hedges against the serpent.